Okay, at this time then, all those who support proposal number one, the proposal submitted by the Council of the Princeton University community, please raise your hand. It looks as if this proposal number one is receiving very great support from those in the balcony and upper balcony sections. Among those in the lower stand that comes directly down to the floor of the gymnasium, I would say the support is, is less than half. Some persons in the guest section are raising their hands in support of this, but it is my understanding that those persons actually have no vote. George? Barry, that has been changed from a guest section to members of the university community. All right, then. The vote's being taken. And while we're doing this, we might as well go through what this proposal one includes. And I'll see if I can go through it fairly quickly, quickly reading some parts and going through others. This is the proposal of the Council of the Princeton University Community. The first part of it is a statement of general position. First, the sudden widening of the war into Cambodia, accompanied by the resumption of large-scale bombing of North Vietnam, has created a critical situation that, in the judgment of many of us, demands our immediate attention and response. These actions are particularly alarming in that they have been undertaken without the authorization of the Congress and in such a way as to raise serious doubts concerning their constitutionality. The Council supports the provisional strike in opposition to American military policy until the Monday meeting of the university community, which is this meeting, when further action will be taken and acting under its authority to consider general issues relating to the welfare of the university, the Council of the Princeton University Community condemns military intervention in Cambodia and involvement in the war in Southeast Asia. And the next one just says that they will recommend the following proposals and added to the statement of general position was an amendment that Princeton University as an institution opposed the Cambodian invasion, American foreign policy and domestic oppression and that its facilities and manpower be used to register that opposition. Then, the specific concrete recommendations. The Council of the Princeton University Community, this is on the scheduling of academic requirements, the University Council recommends to the faculty that normal end-of-term procedures be modified to enable those individuals who believe that they must suspend their normal activities to do so without prejudice to their academic standing, while at the same time permitting those individuals who wish to continue their normal activities to do so. Support proposal number two. Proposal number two is now being counted. Those in favor of proposal number two are raising their hands. I would say that a smaller number of persons that voted for proposal number one are voting for proposal number two. Just back quickly to proposal number one. Number two is very easy to read through, and as is number three. So on the scheduling of academic requirements, they would recommend that the faculty extend the period during which courses and other academic requirements of the term may be satisfactorily completed, be extended to the beginning of the fall term and that these would be rescheduled where possible or waived should that seem desirable by mutual agreement of students and faculty involved. Then to accommodate those individual students who wish to complete the work of the present term as scheduled, the council recommends to the faculty that each department assume responsibility for administering all examinations and reporting the standing of all students seeking to meet the faculty, rather seeking to meet course departmental degree or graduate school requirements. The non-official result on those supporting the first resolution is 2,066, and on our last vote we had 30, over 3,500 persons voting. So in the case that everyone votes only once, which is the intent of this assembly, this resolution, resolution number one, would receive the support as the most uh, popular resolution considered by this assembly of the Princeton University community. And I have the word that this tally is official. 2,066 persons supported it. There's something going on over the other side of the podium that we're not able to see at the moment. And a chant of strike, strike, as you can hear in the background. 